Well, it's been a while since I uploaded something to the channel. I used to put up pro-life material all the time. I have over 500 interviews, events, and all different kinds of shows on the Pro-Life News YouTube channel. And I stopped for a long time. I just, uh, I guess you could say I was on a break. But there's so many things happening right now. There's just, uh, it's time to start speaking up about the issues. And it's time to start encouraging people to get involved in what's going on out here. The United States has been changing for a lot of years and not for the better. Democrats have done a good job taking over this country and it's safe to say that if President Trump doesn't win this election this will be the last Republican president any of us will see. And that's not just hyperbole, it's not just uh, exaggeration. The reality is that Democrats filled up America with Democrat voting immigrants and we can't do anything about that. All we can do is accept it. We've seen the policies that Democrats have enacted over the years and now that they know that it's coming up on the end, now that they realize they're on the verge of taking complete control, they're not even holding back. They're not holding back on anything. So you see their rhetoric that's coming out and their, their hatred, the Democrat hatred for anyone who doesn't believe what they believe is scary. That's There's no other word for it. It's scary. They're calling Republicans white supremacists and racists and they just throw us into the same basket. The funny thing is, of course, they support Antifa, who's a terrorist organization and they support Black Lives Matter, who commits terrorist acts and should be labeled a terrorist organization as well. Those protests across the nation over the last five, six weeks were hardly peaceful. It was hilarious watching that Democrat media reporter talking about how he was reporting from a peaceful protest and there was a massive building on fire behind him that he could say that with a straight face. Unbelievable. There are big changes coming in this country. Even if President Trump wins one more election, that's it. No more federal presidents, no more presidents on the Republican side ever again. And the federal politicians, the congressmen, the senators, they're going to also uh, drift. They're going to drift to the left. They're going to become Democrats. And there's nothing we can do about that. So, yeah, I'm cruising down the road here. I just thought, really, it's it's time. I gotta I gotta wake up this channel. I've gotta start speaking out again, and I have to encourage everyone to get involved because we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Even if we retreat to conservative states, what does that mean? How will we supply ourselves? Democrats will definitely cut us off. They're tearing down all the statues and monuments. It doesn't matter who it is. As far as they're concerned, it's all the white patriarchy. 
this anti-white racism is extreme. My YouTube channel won't last long now that I'm speaking up and speaking out against this stuff, so with this being the first video going up, I'm going to tell you folks, go over to BitChute. You can find me on BitChute at Peter Shin, S-H-I-N-N, and um, also at Parlay, P-A-R-L-E-R. Um, that's also Peter Shin and minds.com m-i-n-d-s dot com again Peter Shin so there's a lot to come just wanted to do a quick video and uh, put myself back out there again and let's start doing what we have to do we're going to have to separate from these Democrats otherwise if they don't throw us in jail, they will deperson us. They've already started that. A couple of weeks ago, there was the massive purge of anyone who doesn't say what they want them to say. And uh, YouTube, Twitter, um, so far not Facebook, but YouTube and Twitter and Instagram, they all joined together and did a massive purge. Stefan Molyneux, and uh, of course Alex Jones was the first one to go but many others and we're not welcome in their world so we have to create our own so let's unite let's make something happen united we stand divided they die and they I'm referring to the preborn one million every year slaughtered in the womb by abortion thanks to the Democrat policies that alone should be enough to get make you realize what it is that we're up against. So, pro-life unity, we stand for life and liberty. Anyone who complains that we're not talking pro-life all the time, oh well, sorry. We're, we stand for life and liberty, and we want to defend all life, including our own. We have to defend our own lives. It's important. So, I'll see you all around. We'll do a lot more of this. Let's stay in touch. Peter Shin, signing out.